How do you draw a line in Illustrator? Yes, there's a line tool, there's also a pen tool, there's also your shape tools. So you might have noticed the shape tools, right? Like a rectangle tool. So I can create a rectangle. Well, if I create a thin enough rectangle, that's technically a line. Now this rectangle has no fill. So I wanna make sure I double click on that fill, give it a color or just black and white and hit okay and I kind of made that white for some reason. Okay, here's black, there we go. All right, so we can have that selected. We zoom in, we can actually adjust the width and the height of this. So we could adjust the height to be a specific value. If I wanted a five pixel line, there's a five pixel filled line. Might be a little harder to work with, might be easier depending on what you're doing. Let's look at the line tool though. We can do the same thing with this tool right here. It's called line segment tool. You can see the shortcut key is a little forward slash or is that backslash, can't remember. But once we have that selected, we can click and drag and create a line. Now, we might want this line to be perfectly horizontal, right? Because see, if your mouse is off, it's gonna be a diagonal line. So we're gonna hold shift with that and lock it into 45 degree increments. Sorry about that zoom there, but uh, if I do rotate this around, you can see there, that's better, 45 degree increments. Okay, let's make a line here, boom. So we've got a line, but once again, no fill or stroke. The fill won't do anything here because this is a path. So we need a stroke on that path. So instead of fill, we'll do stroke. We'll do a five point stroke. Hit enter, and I did a white stroke, so I need to make that a different color like black. And now you see, we've essentially created the same type of line. The difference here, this is a shape that has a fill this is a line or path that has a stroke. There are advantages and disadvantages to either. Once you learn Illustrator a little more, you'll kind of understand. I would probably create most of my lines with the stroke option. I get it, I showed you this one first, but I wanted you to understand you could create lines with shapes. Now, this line here, what's easy about it is in the stroke options, gosh, I can just up and down arrow key this to get the line thickness that I want real easily. I can go into the actual stroke options, adjust the weight here. I can also adjust the cap. Don't want it to be a hard rectangular cornered cap. We can make it rounded with one button click, boom. Now our line is a lot softer with a rounded cap on the end. We can adjust the corners in a line. We don't have a corner. And then we can also even make it a dash line dotted line, we can adjust the gaps between the dashes using my up and down arrow keys here. So very quickly, you can do a lot of things with this line that you cannot do with just a shape. Let's uncheck that. Okay, well, now the question is how else can we create paths or lines? Do we have to use the line segment tool? Definitely not. We can use the pen tool, for instance. So we grab the pen tool, shortcut key is P. We can click to create one point, and then you'll notice that kind of like the line segment tool, except for without holding it, it's showing me what the line will be that I create. So I could click again over here and look at that. Because I had this guy selected before, it made the same style of line. And we press V, that's the shortcut key for the selection tool. And we have this guy selected and we can adjust the width once again, the stroke, any of those options, we can make changes to those up there. Now this is a straight line. What if I wanted a curved line? Those are a couple different things we can do, but we could go back to that pin tool. We could click here again, click over here, but this time click and drag in the direction you want the line to kind of be going. And if you start to pull this out, you actually create a curve. Now I'm a little zoomed in, so that's gonna be a little messy. We'll get back to the zoom of it, but you can see how it curves now, right? So if we let go and maybe we zoom out command or control minus or plus, now you can see how we've made a curved line very easily. Now go back to that pin tool, P for the shortcut key. If I hold option with this, I get this little like line segment curve tool. What I can do with that is actually curve this line however I want, just by clicking on the line and kind of bending it around. I'm holding alt or option to do this. I can also hold shift and it keeps it, you see how those anchors or those handles coming off of those anchor points are staying together like in sync. That's because I'm holding shift. If I don't hold shift, they'll be kind of off from each other, right? They're just gonna kind of be free form a little bit. So that's a cool way to kind of curve your lines. Now, if you want to edit those handles individually, you can actually press A, which is the direct selection tool, select one of your anchor points and edit its own handle. So now I'm not even editing this handle, just this guy over here to create the look that I want. Look at that, when you pull it up here, it actually creates kind of that double curve, right? We got a double curve, we can click on this handle, pull this around, and now suddenly my single line segment becomes a lot more dynamic just by doing that. And because it's a line or a path, you can just adjust those stroke options up and down. You would never be able to do that 
with this rectangle up here. So I would say that pretty much covers how to draw a line in Illustrator.